It smells so sweet. Hey adventurers, it's Rachel and welcome back to Looking for Adventure Art and today we have a super fun, easy DIY for you. I used to do this as a kid and they were one of my favorite summertime projects. Even though summer is almost over, this is kind of like the last hurrah. But today we are making stained glass flexible flowers. So they're not really stained glass. But they are a faux stained glass and they are definitely child friendly. So if you happen to be new here, think about hitting that subscribe button down below to see more awesome tutorials. But I'm not going to waste any time, so let's get started. The things you will need are Elmer's glue. You can use either regular glue or glitter glue. One ounce or two ounce squeeze bottles. Some dish soap. Food coloring. Floral wire, preferably at 22 gauge page protectors or a non-stick surface, and floral tape. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your one ounce squeeze bottles. I picked these up at Joann's. They were really, really inexpensive. And I'm just gonna take my Elmer's glue and I'm going to squeeze it almost all the way to the top of the bottle. Don't actually fill it to the top because when we go to mix in our food coloring dish soap, it will start to explode. Once you have all of your squeeze bottles filled, put in one drop of dish soap. You don't need more than that, but it is not a perfect science, so if you accidentally put in a little more, that is okay, but you want about one drop of dish soap per squeeze bottle. The next thing that you're going to do is take your food coloring and just add a little bit into each of your bottles. You can mix the colors to make your own custom colors if you don't have the really big gel paste Wilton set. I just picked these up at the grocery store. Either gel or liquid food coloring will work. It won't really matter. And then just take either a skewer or a chopstick and mix that thoroughly so the color is evenly spread throughout the whole bottle. Now you're gonna set your bottles aside for a moment and you're gonna grab your 22 gauge wire and you're going to start to bend it into whatever flower petal shape you want. You don't even have to do flowers if you would like. You can always just bend it into odd shapes and actually make 3D flexible sculptures or anything else. But my biggest tip for you is to make sure that your wire lays as flat as it possibly can on the table. If it does not lay as flat as it can, the glue mixture will kind of seep under the wire and it won't cling on to it. So whatever shape that you decide to be doing, whether it's flower petals or leaves or something else, just make sure to have it lay as flat as possible. I put some books on top of mine in addition to straightening it out with my hands. Next, you're going to take your clear page protector or your nonstick surface. I have a nonstick surface, but I really like the page protectors because it makes it easy to move them if needed. And I am just going to lay all of my wires on top of that. And then I'm going to take my squeeze bottles and I'm going to start to squeeze in our glue mixture all around the edges first, making sure to touch the wire and then filling in the middle. You can mix colors, you can do multicolored flower petals, or you can just have it a single color. Don't worry if any seeps underneath because we will be cutting away the excess later. I also used a chopstick if I used two colors to do a little bit of a swirl design or marbling but you could also leave a nice sharp line in your flower petals as well. I am now going to set my flowers aside to dry for a full 24 hours. It is going to take a little bit of time. You'll know when they're ready when they are completely transparent looking like stained glass but they are still flexible. The thing that I messed up on was I accidentally let my last set dry for a week and they will start to harden up a little bit so only wait about 24 to 48 hours at the longest before you take them off the sheets. Now that your flower petals are all dry, we can start to assemble them. So you're just gonna take your petals and you can bend them in any way that you want. Don't bend them too quickly because you can pop them off a little bit off the forms, mainly if they're still wet, but you're just gonna bend them any way you want and then you can arrange the petals how you like it. Take that wire, start to wrap one of the wires all the way around so they stay in place. And then you're just gonna take your floral tape, stretch it a little bit so the adhesive comes out, and then just wrap all the way down and cut off any excess. That will protect any children's hands from any sharp edges or points on the flower wire. And that is it, you are all finished and you have some beautiful stained glass flowers. I 
I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making these. I love them. They're so easy and simple. And I know that my little sister loved them too because when I went to go take the photos, she took my flowers for me. So I had to redo the video. Before we go, I do have one last question for you and that is our question of the day. My question of the day for you guys is, what's your favorite cartoon character? I just want to know a little bit more about you guys, and so I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for all the daily updates. And if you happen to make this or anything else on my channel, feel free to tag me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or email me or I don't know, whatever kind of social media is that you guys do, because I want to see it. And don't forget, every day is a new adventure, so come back next time for a new adventure with us.